Hey guys, in this video let's give a quick review about Muero Chronicle Hyper, originally released in 2014. You can find it for the Vita, Switch and Steam. And well, the story is a meme, because our main character Io is trying to escape out of his desire, so almost literally he ran away from it. And while he was at it, the monster girls start attacking humans, so Io was forced to be the one to save the city, and pretty much exiled until he's able to find a solution. But enough of the story. It is so lighthearted, funny and dumb in several parts, with some interesting thoughts, but of course it's not a game for everyone. If you like to watch anime with original voices, think in this game as a comedy. There is definitely some good voice acting, and yeah, I make you wonder how they got to accept the roles, but cultural differences aside, the voice acting gives this game a lot of life, with the right use of headphones or something like that just in case. Gameplay-wise, it is an easy first-person dungeon crawler that lasts for around 40 hours, where you advance with different monster girls, making a team up to 5 characters, where the job system is set with her attire, also rather simple, it can be said as something like one of them is for physical, magical and something random depending on the character, like support or a specialized job. These dungeons consist of different floors, but all of them are quite easy. Maybe in my case I ended up with 40 hours because I play the game on hard difficulty, and the random encounters are quite high. Every monster girl is pretty much a boss fight, and let's say the main dish of this game. Some of them are really tough, being able to beat your whole team in a couple of turns, and to add them to your group you need to make our little seal feel the hard gouge by tearing their clothes. And once the rain of coins arrives, we need to jump into a minigame, where we need to rub specific parts. It can be done with the controls or the touch screen. Personally, I never got used to doing it with a control, so the screen was my way to go. This may look easy, but if you don't press the right spot, you need to go berserk, like in some freaking Mario Party minigames, so it is a bit challenging. At least in comparison with Moero Crystal, this one was harder. And as you play with the different monster girls, give them gifts and stuff like that, they increase their affection, having some events where Io and the monster girl deepen their bone. It is worth mentioning that in comparison to Moero Crystal Age, this one falls a bit short if your idea is to play this game for these kind of conversations. Crystal is better. Not expensive, but definitely better. Nonetheless, if you wanna go for something cheaper, this one was worth playing it. Music-wise, as Moero Crystal, a good number of tracks are kinda goofy and there are interesting metal compositions. Unfortunately, as any other game with high random encounters, you don't really get to appreciate too much its OST. For me, Moero Chronicle Hyper gets a 7.5. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.